we have a set of data today where we have three different groups a control group a group treated with drug a and a group treated with drug b these groups could be from your in vitro or in vivo data for example and we are going to calculate the mean standard deviation and standard error of the mean of the given data and you already know that calculating mean standard deviation and standard error of the mean is a common practice in research by calculating these measures we gain a better understanding of our data's central tendency variability and reliability which help us interpret our data and communicate our results with clarity so how do we proceed first make sure you have your data ready in excel spreadsheet in our example we have three groups of uh, rodent models one is control group the second group of rodents is treated with drug a and the third group of rodents is treated with drug b and each column contains nine values let's first calculate the mean or the average of this data we first calculate the mean for the control data for that press equals to average open parenthesis and then select this data which starts from 34 all the way down to 41 and close parenthesis and then press enter so here is your mean for the control data 36.22 and so on let's round off this data first I'm happy with this now in order to calculate the mean for the drug A and drug B data you can simply select this cell and drag this up to here and you know in Excel this copies or drags this formula all the way down to your last cell so the mean for the control is 36.2 for the drug A is 25.9 and for the drug B is 20.8 next is the standard deviation let's see how we calculate this again it's very simple to calculate the standard deviation press equals to and then we use this formula s t d e v and open parenthesis select your range as you did for the mean close parenthesis and press enter there you go let's round off this figure again five point one and again we have to drag this formula all the way down to the last cell and this gives us the standard deviation for the drug a and drug b also now finally let's calculate the scm or the standard error of the mean so as you might know that in Excel we do not have a direct formula to calculate the SEM so we calculate SEM from the SD so let's see what is that formula press equals to again write the same command that you used for the standard deviation which is STDEV open parenthesis select your range close parenthesis now as you know that SEM is calculated by the SD values divided by the square root of the sample size and the sample size is here which is nine values so press divided by SQRT which is the square root open parenthesis so since we have nine values here for that I will type nine close parenthesis and then hit enter so this is your SEM for this data again select this cell and round off so 1.7 and again we will drag this formula down to the last cell and finally we see how we interpret our data so for example you have conducted an experiment you have three different values so in routine practice you report your data by writing the means as well as the SD or the SEM values I will show you here how we normally do that for example you write the mean here which is 36.2 then you insert the plus minus symbol and then you can write your SD value 
which is 5.1 here. Or you may write the SEM value here rather than the SD. Let's see how. This is exactly in the similar fashion. 36.2 plus minus 1.7. So your mean value plus minus your SEM value, which is 1.7. You can repeat same for these cells. Now, as you can see, you have the mean standard deviation and standard error of the mean for all the columns. And this is how you interpret your data in your thesis or the research paper. And finally, let's see what's the meaning of this plus minus symbol. For example, here 36.2 plus minus 1.7. So, for example, here the plus minus symbol would mean that you might add 1.7 to 36.2 or subtract. 1.7 from 36.2 and why we normally do this in research this ring basically takes into account the uncertainty associated with this measurement and provides a sense of the potential variability in the true value and as I said this simply means that either add 1.7 or subtract 1.7 from 36.2 so it will give us 37.9 if we add this to it or give us 34.5 if we subtract this from this.